Hey everyone, I'm Austin, and this is Sad Boys Anime. This week, we're talking about Kekai Sensen, or Blood Blockade Battlefront, which sounds hilarious. I seriously never got past the English title. This is going to be my first video in a potentially ongoing quick review series. Not every anime needs tons of words to convince someone to watch it, so I want to make shorter videos for some of these. Let me know what you think. This show is so underrated. I literally don't understand why. It's a lot of fun, it has awesome art, the premise is so cool, and the comedy is actually funny. The character dynamics all make sense. The only thing I wanted from this show was more. I wanted to see more, I wanted to explore the world more, I wanted to see the characters interact more. I wish we could get another season of them just doing stuff together, I don't know, but I feel like this for any anime I really enjoy, so. Okay, let's get a quick plot synopsis. Basically, there are two worlds, right? Earth and another alien planet, and they're colliding together. A portal opened up over New York City, and all these aliens came in, creating what they call Hell Salem's Lot. There's a group called Libra that's a mix of humans and non-humans that regulates the goings-on inside the city, and makes sure nobody is causing too much trouble. We also have Leonardo Watch. He is given these super cool powerful eyes by a literal god. He has a monkey named Sonic. He gets mistaken for someone else and gets recruited into Libra. He helps this group out, basically fighting crime. I love how the show isn't afraid to get weird and creative with their alien designs. New York is always made to be a melting pot of different types of people and media anyway. This show said, fuck it, I'm gonna add some aliens in there and you're all good. Do y'all remember that Netflix movie Will Smith did called Bright? Yeah, so for a lack of a better way to explain it, this show is kind of like that, but a million times better. It's what the movie wanted to be. The world building is so good. You get to see two different worlds combining and experience the chaos that comes with it. This is not the kind of thing that would just be peaceful and easy. It's messy, chaotic, and energetic, and yet people are so adapted to the world that nothing really phases them. You get to find out more about the world through one-off episodes with the characters in Libra. It's an excellent way of showing us what's going on rather than just telling everything in boring monologue. The tone of this show is very set in with the chaotic nature. It never really takes itself too seriously and it's constantly making me laugh. There are more serious moments, but they're there to show you the, how the characters are going to react rather than being there to make the show dark or edgy. The characters in this show are a lot of fun. Whether we're looking at Daddy, <coughs> I mean Klaus, Small Boy Leonardo, Goofy Boy Zed, just any of them really. This scene with Klaus, bruh, he's playing like 40 chess. But literally though. It's just so cool, okay? He's just calm and collected, but is so powerful and isn't the type of person you want to mess with if he's angry. He contrasts really well with Zed, who's just a goofy dumbass. They get on each other's nerves, but they're still friends and it's hilarious to watch. Leonardo is just a sweet, innocent, small boy, and I just want to protect him and his monkey. He inherited the god eyes from this god, as I mentioned, at the expense of his sister's eyes. He wants to keep her safe. I love how they had an actual reason for him having his eyes closed rather than the usual, oh, I don't know, they just don't open their eyes, I guess, but I love it. By the way, I love this look, it's just hilarious when you think about it. It just shows an attention to detail and a passion behind the art. This sound effect when he opens his eyes just makes me so happy for some reason. It just sounds really cool. I don't know. I don't have to explain myself. Did I mention his monkey? Listen, if I had to pick a studio and the only shows I could watch were ones by them, I would have to pick Bones. Bones is just so good, and so many of their shows are exactly my aesthetic. I mean, they're able to do anything they want. You want high school comedy or on high school host club. You want something totally new and has an amazing story? Soul Eater. You want a show with supernatural elements? Mob Psycho 100 or this show. They also did Full Metal Alchemist, My Hero Academia. Like, come on y'all. There's just no competition. All of these shows are so important to me and are highly rated by a large amount of people in this community. So trust the studio and trust the facts that this show is in excellent hands and has done amazingly well. If you liked One Punch Man or Cowboy Bebop, 
I honestly think you'd love this show. It's similar to both of them in the tone and creativity of the characters. It's a lot different in terms of like power levels of characters and the overall plot, but the vibes are still there and y'all should really give it a chance. You just follow a group of dumbasses as they fight crime and live in this crazy chaotic world. That's it this week. If you like this video, check out my Soul Eater review. Leave a comment down below if you've seen the show. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy. See you next week. Happy Halloween.